Hello, everybody. Today I have two exciting stories about Camp Candy and the Camp Candy campers. Watch these, and I'll be back after the show. If there's one thing you can count on for a Camp Candy summer, it's the weather. It's always hot. There we go, kids. There's nothing like a little ice cream to cool off a hot day. <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> there's nothing like a hot day to warm up a little ice cream. <laughs> Aren't you going to light the fire? Why bother? Sometimes the heat comes in handy. <laughs> energy efficient. But one summer it got so hot, the kids didn't want to do much of anything, except complain. It's too hot. It's way too hot. Everyone agreed. Even our animal friends thought it was hot. You want to know something, Alice? I'll tell you something, Alice. I'm as fashionable as the next bear, but enough is enough. Ooh, how sweet it is. Ooh. Man, is it hot. Each of us tried to cope with the weather in our own way. Nurse Molly dispensed sunscreen. I was lifeguard. <laughs> or was it traffic cop? Okay, move it up. All right, you. Back it up there. Come on now. Everybody, pay attention. Somehow we managed to have a good time in spite of the heat. But little did we know what our neighbor across the lake, Rex DeForest III, had planned for us. Don't worry, boss. I've almost got it. <laughs> Good, Chester. I'm just one rainstorm away from signing the deal on these condo plans. Soon Camp Candy's beloved little watering hole will be reduced to a parking lot. <laughs> Whoa, these bubble bath crystals smell kind of nice, boss. <laughs> Those aren't bubble bath crystals, you moron. They're Instagram granules. Kids go to camp for outdoor fun, but these harmless-looking little crystals will turn Camp Candy's weather so bad, John will be begging me to buy the place. Instarain will make way for something grand and lucrative. Rex's World Ocondos! No, Chester, get a big bucket. We want to make lots and lots of rain. I can already hear all those campers calling home to mommy about the big bad thunder and lightning. <laughs> yeah, how much, boss? One teaspoon per cloud. Yeah, how many? One! One! Okay, here goes. Get out your umbrellas, little campers. Looks like a storm's passing through. <laughs> Snowflakes in July at Camp Candy. No, Kids, kids, come on, don't panic. Come over Ooh. here, come on over here. Hold it. <laughs> the sun will be back out in a second. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, come on back. <laughs> when life hands you lemons, you, you make lemonade. <laughs> if life hands you snow, make snowballs. The sudden change of seasons was hard on everybody. Time to flash out, baby. Mix up, Palm Beach. Alice, I gotta get my fur coat on a story. Ooh. Whoa! Beautiful Palm Beach. And I'm not even tired, man. Actually, the snow was a nice change of pace. A little weird, but a nice change of pace. I'm sure glad you had our warm hiking clothes in storage. But next time, try to get something a little more stylish. Oh, yeah, our friend looks great. This is good. Good work. Good work, everybody. All right, you kids go on in and get some hot chocolate while I finish up, all right? Hey, hey, but don't slam the door. So, <laughs> cold enough for you? 
I couldn't have dreamed of anything better. We tried for rain and got snow. I guess that extra dose you threw in did it, Chester. The kids are all shut-ins. I can already hear the saws buzzing and the trees falling down. Timber! The hammer's hammering all those wonderful little nails into the wood. Chester! No matter what Rex thought, life at Camp Candy hadn't changed that much. We could toast marshmallows over the campfire, or cook stove as the case may be. We were even starting to get into that holiday spirit. But I did wonder what was causing the unseasonable cold weather. Hey, it looks like another hot and sunny day all over the country. Except for one big cloud over at Camp Candy. Wait a minute, all over? Rick, hand me my binoculars. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's just Camp Candy that's frozen. Hmm. And Rex looks very happy about it. Well, if he's responsible for all this snow, I'm afraid his plan has backfired. Having fun is the best revenge. All right, last one outside is a frozen yogurt. Yay! Come on, kids, let the winter games begin. Yay! We hadn't had so much cool fun since we celebrated Christmas in July last year. We made snow angels and decked the halls. Well, the mess hall, anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch, well, watch out, Binky! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, that's cold. It was quite a day. We even went sledding. Boy, it was a long, slow climb up the mountain with all that snow. But it was an even shorter, faster ride down. I probably couldn't sled like this in real life. <laughs> probably couldn't ski like this either. <laughs> but what the heck, it's a cartoon. I can do whatever I like. <laughs> The kids were good at most winter sports, but ice skating was not really their strong point, if you know what I mean. So I called an old pro hockey pal of mine. Hi, Pete. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> How'd you like to get a little ice hockey practice in here at Camp Candy? Yeah, we got ice. Hello? Hello? Wow. <laughs> I guess that means yes. <laughs> All right, campers, listen up. Uh, my friend Pete here is going to teach us all the fine art of ice hockey. And he brought us uh, all the standard equipment here. Just take some there. Get, everybody's got something? All right. Distribute this stuff. There you go. And some non-standard equipment for beginners. <laughs> Face off! <laughs> I was proud to see that my campers caught on to the game of hockey fast. <laughs> Very fast. Too fast. Ah! He scores! The campers were especially good at learning penalties, like hooking, and icing, and, uh, interference. Whoa! <laughs> the good kind. And then there was the real important stuff. All right, listen up, kids. Listen, listen real good, all right? In hockey, we never ever fight, all right? Yeah, the campers learned hockey in a hurry. Hockey? That's not fair! Hockey is fun! They're not supposed to have fun! Well, hockey? Oh boy, let me see! <laughs> I guess word about Camp Candy's winter sports traveled fast because I got a call from Hob Nails, head counselor at our rival Camp Kickboot. Yeah, hello, John. We heard about your snow, and I'd like to propose a little hockey match. A hockey match with Camp Kickboot. Hob, you're on. The next day was clear and crisp and cold. Just perfect for Camp Candy's first exhibition ice hockey game. Step right up! Step right up! Just five dollars to see Camp Candy beat the Kickboot campers. Money? Money is beautiful. They're not supposed to make money. Yeah, but I thought making money was good, boss. Money is good for me, but not for Camp Candy. Chester, we're going to stop that game, and we're going to stop John Candy, now. Yeah, but boss, couldn't we watch the game and then destroy Camp Candy, please? The answer is no! 
Boss, what'd you order all this hairspray for, anyway? This isn't hairspray. It's Instafreeze. Those campers think winter's fun. Wait till Camp Candy gets a load of this. <laughs> Bob Nails was coach of the Camp Kickboot team, and Pete volunteered to coach our Camp Candy team. The excitement was building to a fervor pitch. Come on, Alice. I bet a bundle of honey on this game. Uh, let's see here. I do not exceed one spray per cloud. Be sure to use all the cans. Right, boss. The game had taken an interesting turn. Both teams had so many penalties that all the players ended up in the penalty box. So, Hobnails, looks like it's just you and me now. Yep, and the whole thing should be over by high noon. This ice is only thick enough for one winner. Yeah, and I aim to be that winner. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Watch out! I couldn't figure out what was going on, but it was making me break out in a cold sweat. Real cold sweat. It was time to take action. It was time to fight back. It was time for a big cup of hot chocolate. Then I saw them. My old friends, Chief Leapin' Lizard and the Cowabunga Indians. And that gave me an idea. Look at those cowards, afraid of a little cold weather. And they call themselves hockey players. <laughs> So, guys, uh, what do you think? I think the chocolate's too hot. No, 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 no. What, what, what do you think we can do about this strange weather, Chief? I don't know what to do. I don't understand to him. Well, John, under normal circumstances, nothing. Our ceremonies are not performed for anyone outside the tribe. But you, John, you have been good to the animals and good to the land. We consider you a friend. And we always want to help a friend. Especially when our favorite pastime, hockey, is interrupted. So my good friends agreed to perform a ceremony to chase away the bad weather. But first, we had to build an igloo to hold the ceremony in. The kids and I felt honored to be part of an ancient tradition that only the Cowabunga Indians know about. The chief asked the spirit of the eagle to release Camp Candy from the unnatural winter weather. It was a night to remember. I don't know if it was the ritual or just coincidence, or if Rex's chemicals just wore off. But the next morning, Summer returned to Camp Candy again. Well, either I'm clacking up or winter gets shorter every year, man. But it's good to be home. 
Oh, don't look at me like that, Alice. I know I lost the bundle on the hockey game, but if you say one word to me, to the moon, Alice! Yes, yeah, spring was in the air. Well, Chief, looks like we got out of there just in time. Woo! <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Come visit again, huh? Thank you, Brother John. But one question. Will you ever finish the hockey game? Hockey game? I'd forgotten all about it. This is outrageous! You must not have used enough of the chemicals! It's summer over there again! Drat it all! This fun must be stopped, you moron! Stop! Well, our winter adventure was just about over. Everybody was pretty cool about everything that happened. <laughs> you know what I mean, with the cool... Never mind. Of course, not everybody was happy. Well, geez, I don't know. This has never happened before. A game called on account of summer. Holy smokes. And then I figured... There's more than one way to pass a puck. <laughs> you get, that, that's hockey talk. Too technical. Forget it. Move on. So we switched to street hockey on rollerblades. But we found out you can get just as many penalties on dry land as you can on ice. We even thought up some new ones. Chip shot, I guess. We were about to go into a sudden death playoff when I noticed clouds gathering again. Hey, boss, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. You idiot! Dispense the chemicals! Uh, dispense with them? Uh, oh, you mean throw them away. You're right, Alice. I'm gonna give up honey for good. All that sugar's messing up my head. The thunder didn't last long, but we finished the hockey game inside just in case. Rick passes to Iggy. Iggy passes to Alex. And she It was nothing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I'll get you next time, Candy. Uh, my name isn't Hob Nails. Well, it'll probably be a cold day in July before we play ice hockey at Camp Candy again. But no matter what the weather, hot or cold or in between, Camp Candy's a great place to be. <laughs> and that's about the end of it. Or not. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how different plants scatter their seeds? They can't move around like animals or people. Nature has taken care of everything with something called seed dispersal. Most plants produce many seeds so that at least some of them will land on suitable ground. There are several different ways seeds are dispersed in search of that suitable soil. One is wind. Think of a maple tree on a windy day or the last time you picked a dandelion and blew away the seeds. In windy conditions, these seeds can be carried far away from the plant that produced them. 
The next time you go for a walk on an overgrown path in late summer, check your socks and pant legs for burrs, which are seeds sticking to your clothes by means of hooks and spines. When you knock them off outside, you've helped the plant move its seeds to a different area.